Hello, hello! Welcome back to Whiskey with E. I'm Eric. Now today, not a whiskey with or without the E, but very soon, at the moment, we have the double E's in beer, but you know what? It's a special one, because normally we, we try craft beers from Australia, but today I am going to try a beer from Sierra Nevada, coming out of the USA. Not sure if it's craft or not, I mean... The distribution must be big because I'm here in Australia and I have it. So maybe they're not a microbrewery. Maybe they're big. So I don't know. I hope it still tastes craft. But without further ado, craft beer review number 75 we have. <sighs> Liquid hoppiness. Coming out of Sierra Nevada. Brewing Co, which is located in Chico, California, I think. And it says something about Ann Mills River, New York City. Alrighty. 7% alcohol. The can looks like so. So, two standard drinks. I mean, normally here in Australia it will say Mills, but it says 12. I think that's 12 ounces. Different measuring systems. Oh my goodness. Family owned, operated, and argued over, they say on top here. Look at all those hops. Look at the beautiful can art. I mean, the can's popping. Looks lovely. I uh, hear this is 55 IBUs. Um, hmm. You know what? Let, let's just get it cracked open. The psk test. Here we go. Interesting. Oh. I forgot to check the uh, the can date. All right, it says zero eight ten twenty two. So this is like a month old. I don't know if this w would be best served maybe earlier, but I mean I am here in Australia, so it's a little bit late. But let's just get it poured up, guys. All right, is. Now, the glass has kind of gone to room temp. It was cold, but here we go. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Well, juicy is hazy. Juicy is hazy. Alrighty. Two finger head. Ah, one and a half fingers. One and a half finger head. That is a eggshell, a little slight off-white, fluffy head. That is a golden amber, no, be more like golden yellow, eh? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it like, all right, guys, sorry about the lighting, even though it's brighter in here. Now, I just had Big Love. Big Love had a, it was kind of like, you know, like a, a thick shake, so a smoothie fruit shake, you know, because it was um, a little bit milky, lighter in color. This is just coming out golden, really yellow. The carbonation's easing up. You know what? I'm just going to get right into it, guys. Oh. That is just a fruit bomb, isn't it? That, that is tropical. Now, for anyone that's interested in what is in here, now, it doesn't say on the can, unless it does, but I can't see it because of that sticker. I looked it up. It has, <clears throat> it's written right here. The malt in it are Munich, oats, two row pale, and wheat. The hops used are Arcada, Cascade, Centennial, Sultana, the yeast was ale yeast. There you go, guys, in case you were wondering. I'm no beer nerd, but um, that could be handy knowledge to somebody. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm just really excited, guys. The pineapple. Slight lemon. But this is really citrus, so I'm getting a lot of, like, orange zest vibes. Like, it's kind of like passion fruit, but not really, no, slight l melon. But there is a herby, 
hoppy element to this. Maybe I've got to stand back so the lighting doesn't do its thing. Oh dear. You know what? I'm just going to get right into it, guys. Let's just say, smells nice, looks nice, but does it taste nice? Here we go. An Australian trying uh, an American beer from Sierra Nevada. Is that even a location? Or a Sierra Nevada Brewing Co. The name of the... Leave it in the comments. Let me know. I am a tourist. The head's going down, but oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get right into it, guys. I mean, it is sticking. Look at that. Look at the lacing. Oh. All right, guys. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. Hmm. Fluffy. The carbonation is silky smooth. Very fluffy, very soothing. Mm. But then it kind of goes crisp, you know, the, the bitter end comes in like, alright, so so the front end of the palate is just the loads of fruit, you know, you're getting that, the passion, the the orange, the grapefruit. Mm. Mm. The pineapple. But then on the back end, it kind of just goes over to the slight bitter hoppy vibes. But 55 IBUs is not that bitter. I mean, so it's working well with the fruity vibe on the front end mixed with the bitter end. Uh, you know, it's just a balanced beer. But I'm thinking maybe it was better a month ago. Who knows? You know, I mean... 0, 8, 10, 22, guys. What's the date today? I mean, I know we're in the 11th month. Oh, my goodness. That's what I mean. This is probably very old. So, me trying this now, this is probably not at its full potential. At the moment, I feel like it's lacking a little bit. Like, I feel like it should be more or something. But, I'm not saying it's bad. 7%. You can, you can feel the extra flavors in 7%. You're not really getting the alcohol. I mean, you know, I mean, you're, you're not getting the burn or the... It's just a very easy drinking beer. I mean... Hmm. But it's not really coming across juicy. I mean... Or am I just tripping, guys? I mean, it says juicy IPA. But to me, it just feels like... Like, like at the start, it's silky and it's fluffy. But then it goes crisp. You know, there is like a slight herbal floral note at the end. You know, like the pine and all that. You know, that grassy vibe. I mean, it's not bad, guys. But the fruit side is good. You know, the pineapples, all that, the, the slight melon, but it's really citrus forward. So, the orange. Yeah, orange zest vibes. Slight lemon. Oh. It just feels like it's gonna do something and then it just just fades off i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking this who knows maybe it's because the beer's gone warm do you guys drink this freezing cold i may have let it gone a little bit too towards room temp i mean it is still freezing cold guys it's just normally i serve a beer in a nice cold glass but i kind of left it for too long this time it's going down Lacing's not really holding its form anymore, but carbonation, still rushing, oh my goodness. But see, like, like, you would class this as a hazy, but it's not completely, like, hazy hazy. I mean, look at it, guys. It just reminds me of, like, a pale ale, but a hazy version, but not so hazy. This makes no sense, does it? <laughs> I'm 
unprofessional. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have tried this liquid hoppiness IPA, juicy IPA that is, not hazy, not a New England IPA, it's a juicy IPA. Let me know if you've tried this, what do you think of it? I believe this could be like seven, eight dollars here in Australia, could be more. Don't quote me on that. Imported by www.phoenixbeers.com.au That's all I have to say about that. But, am I enjoying it? Yes, I'm enjoying it. Um, but I feel like the more I'm having it, the more the flavours are starting to just fade off or fall short. I mean, it's nice, guys. It's 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 a nice balanced beer, but I just feel like it should be more punchy. But if you like a nice, easy drinking, approachable beer, it's sweet. You know, it's got the fruity vibes, all those different stone fruits and sh tropical shenanigans, and then it goes towards the piney. You know, the slight bitterness, but fifty-five IBUs is not that bitter, guys. That's what I mean. It it just drinks really easy, but at the moment the flavors are falling short. It might be because the can is probably like a month old. But anyway, guys, let me know if you've tried it. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of it. Hmm. Not bad, guys. Not bad. What do you guys think of it? Cheers all. Drink responsibly. Yeah, like that herbalness pininess in your breath in the back end but it's just so fluffy and tropical on the front end but the bitter's not that bad i'm, I'm just going to be repeating myself i'm out of here catch you guys next time see you all.